The apostle we're going to be looking at this Sunday is the apostle Andrew. Andrew is the brother of Simon Peter. So he is one of the four fishermen which made up that original core group of the disciples of Christ. In fact, Andrew was originally a disciple of John the Baptist, and he was the first disciple that Jesus called. He then, in turn, brought his brother Peter to Christ. We read in John 1, 35 through 41, it says again the next day, John, that is John the Baptist, stood with his two disciples and looking at Jesus as he walked, John said, behold, the Lamb of God. So this is John the Baptist recognizing Jesus as the Christ. And John's two disciples were Andrew and uh, the other John. So it says the two disciples heard him speak and they followed Jesus. Then Jesus turned and seeing them following, he said to them, what do you seek? And they said to him, Rabbi, which is to say when translated teacher, where are you staying? And he said to them, come and see. And they came and saw where he was staying and remained with him that day. It says now it was about the 10th hour. And one of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. So he first found his own brother Simon and said to him, we have found the Messiah, which is translated the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. So this is what Andrew is known for. He was, we could say, evangelical about his faith in that he loved bringing people to Jesus. Andrew truly was a fisher of men. And here's what's interesting. The name Andrew is not a Jewish name. It's a Greek name. So that may signal there was some openness in his family. On one occasion in John chapter 12, when a group of Greeks wanted to see Jesus, uh, Andrew, along with Philip, brought the Greeks, uh, wanted to bring the Greeks to Christ. So he brought the matter to Jesus. So in bringing the Greeks to the Lord, Andrew seems to have had faith that Jesus didn't just come to save the Jews. He came to save people from every nation, tribe, and tongue. So that was Andrew's belief. And in that, he was most certainly correct. 